Hey guys, it's Forsaken Realms here today with a new video on how to make your own Minecraft 1.8.1 .1 server, and it's a bucket server, not a normal Minecraft.net server. So you can add plugins now, easy, with using bucket.org. And so let's get started. So first off, you're going to want to click on the link that I'll have in the description box. It'll bring you to AdFly, which then you'll do skip add, and you'll come to this Mediafire. Once you're on the Mediafire, click on this, click here to start download from Mediafire. Your download is starting. Minecraft zip. Alright. So now we got all that done. Now find it on your desktop. Open it up. Alright. So now once you have it, you're going to want to extract it to your desktop. Then here it is right here. Open that up. Alright, so now you got these three things. Craft bucket, that is a Java file. Then you got readme, which you can read. And the start server.bat. So let's just take a quick look inside of the readme. Alright, so we got here is the time 64 bit code at echo off, blah blah blah. The default startup for the server is the 64 bit, not the 32 bit. Uh, to check if you have that, I'll show you right after this. The 32 bit code though is right here. Make sure to start at the at and end at the E of pause. And how to create the start.bat, right click new text document, save as, start.bat, boom, there it is, blah blah. blah. Uh, for some plugins, you can go to this http forms .bucket org, and for wiki, for more information on it, you can go to that. Thanks for second rounds. All right. All right. So first off, you just wanna. Well, I guess I'll show you that. So you're gonna wanna go in your run box. Let me zoom in again. Click on your start. Go in your click uh, go to run or go to this box if you have Windows 7 type in DXD IAG then press enter alright then this should come up right here and where is it? That is, oh right there so as we can see I have a 64-bit Windows 7 home premium 64-bit so yeah just look for that right there Let's see, exit out of that. Now let's start up the server by clicking server, start server.bat. And also you can see this as warning, uh, oh, failed to load the OPs. That's just because the first time you do it, it doesn't have all these files, so then it will create them all. But then um, I found out that whenever you change your server properties and your server right here, which I'll go through right now while that's all loading. Alright, so now you got all this. The level name world, that's the default name is world. You can change it, but then you're going to change the name of your world or and world nether. <coughs> Allow nether, that's like hell. True is for yes, you want a hell, and false for no. View distance, just keep that the same. Spawn monsters, true, you want them to spawn. False, you don't want them to spawn. Online mode. Alright, so this true means only premium users who bought Minecraft can connect. If you make it false, then anyone can connect. The thing with this is that the the command prompt down here that is the server starter, see it's all done. Now once I restart it's going to say warning, location, blah, blah blah. It wants you to have online mode set to true just because of like a, sec like a security thing like you don't want everyone to be able to join. That's just telling you that you can ignore it. It works fine. Difficulty, the default is one but it goes up to three. Game mode, I'd keep that as zero because one would allow everyone to have every kind of block, weapon, all that unlimited amount and they can fly so unless you're gonna whitelist I would not do that and make sure that's like only your friends spawn animals just keep that true for yeah you want them to spawn max players 20 I'd keep that unless you have a really good computer so then it doesn't lag the server real bad server IP alright so this 
if you have Hamachi, just put your Hamachi IP right here. And that's my Hamachi IP. PvP true, false. I don't like mine to keep. I normally like to have mine at false because I don't want people to kill me or someone gets killed and then they lose all their items. Server port. You'll use that one every port forward if you make your server public without Hamachi. Allow flight false. Whitelist. If that's set to true, then there is a document on the. Once you start the server, it'll be created and you can type in certain people's names and only they can log on if you have whitelist set to true. And MOTD, message of the day, make that whatever you want, doesn't matter. Alright, so now let's get back to it. X out of that, save it. Oh my god, I did this before the process. Can I... Oh, it's being used. Screw that. Okay, it's not going to work right now. Oh well. So now let's restart the server and see what happens. Let's save that now. Alright. Start server.bat. And there it is. Wrong location, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. I'll show you why. Let's get up to it. Okay, is it not going to show it? Really? <coughs> oh well. I'll show you that it works though. So now that we have all that. Uh, information in there about the server and everything. Now let's get on Minecraft since the server is up and running. Sorry, I have the cracked version so it does that. So we're going to go to multiplayer, direct connect. Okay, there's my Hamachi IP right there in the server address. Join server, works. See you guys. Like the okay, yeah, puts me anywhere. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it does work, even though it might say wrong location, it's a lie. And uh, my server, I've had up to like five people so far on it at once. So we do need more members, guys. Don't ask for OP. Griefing is not wanted. But yeah, so it works. This looks actually like a pretty cool level. So it's as simple as that. You just get the, get the file started up play the game and I'm going to go show you of how to get your IP right now let's get off of this alright so now say you want to make it public without Hamachi you're going to want to come in here type in CMD press enter also go to your run alright now once you're on this this will come up in white text type in IP config and you'll get your IP you're going to want your default gateway. I'm not going to show you mine, even though I don't know if it matters or not, but, you know, no need to take the chance. Let's scroll up. All right. Where is it? Default gateway. You'll see these probably. I don't know why you want it. But you're going to want your default gateway IP, which would be right over there. Or, so I've heard, your IPv4 address, which is also right there. I have never made my servers public without Hamachi because one, it's a lot easier with Hamachi and two, my computer is dumb and doesn't let me. Alright, so now let's zoom all the way out. So now we got our server right here. Plugins. Um, I guess I could show you guys one plugin. Let's go to bucket.org if I can. Highlight this URL. Alright. I'll have this link in the description box too. This is just the bucket.org plugins list. So let's see which one we want. Um, let's just do like jail. Alright, so I like this one. Um, I'm not sure about the builds. I normally just do 1060 because it's the most recent. So I'd suggest doing that too. So then this one right here, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, it's lagging a lot. Jeez. Alright, so this one. You click on this. See bucket information and download links. Click on that link. Um, configuration, blah, blah. This one was a pain in the butt to download. I forget. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Recent files. Okay, this guy really... Oh, here it is. Download right up here at the very top right. 
Download. All right, guys. Sorry for that. My bandy cam. It's a trial version. Even though you can use this as many times as you want, but yeah, it just doesn't let you record longer than ten minutes at one time. So, anyways, I clicked on download for the version 1.2.2 jail plugin, and you can see file name right here on the right side. It says jail.jar. So it's a Java file. Hit save file. All right. Then we got that. Minimize. Minimize. All right. So now we got this let's open up our all right so now we go we got our minecraft server right here click on plugins and then just put that jail file right in there go back to our server oh wow did one of my friends join hit stop so it saves it any key all right now I restart it and that wrong location's kind of annoying sorry all right, so jail loaded zero jail zones, loaded zero prisoners, loaded zero cells. So it's all in there. We're gonna look in plugins now. We got a new file, jail, jail. Uh, you can change stuff right in here. Let's zoom in a little. You can change all your stuff right here. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Number of guards. So you get guards. You get a, a lot of customization on it. So anyways guys, that's about all of how to make your own Minecraft 1.8.1 bucket server. Hope you guys had a good time. Bye.